if w is the subspace space of m n by n matrices over real number consider the diagonal matrices then dimension of w is we ha we have to tell about dimension of w w is subspace space of n by n matrices means this are the these are the entries of the matrices and size of the matrices n by n and entries are real number means if you pick an element a then a should be from real number it may be 0 1 minus 1 fractional rational any anyone from the real line so these are the elements of w now we have we have to tell about dimension of w in short you can understand dimension is number of independent choice independent choices we have means to generate an element w to generate an element of w then how many independent choices we have i am not saying for a particular element of w any element for all element how many independent choices we have to generate an element of w w contains only diagonal element means diagonal not a scalar remember one point a scalar matrices also will come in diagonal matrices so suppose a b c d e f g these are non zero entries it may be zero or non zero means we have independent choices only these other entries are zero so i put it big zero so how many because of size of the matrices is n y n so n independent choices we have so dimension of w is n if you have studied linear algebra in earlier classes then you can directly put the answer so option a is true let w1 be the real vector space of all 5 by 2 matrices such that the sum of the entries in each row is 0 and w2 with the real vector is space of all 5 by 2 matrices such that sum of the entries in each column is 0 then the dimension of the intersection of these two as we know that uh, w1 is 5 by 2 contains 5 by 2 matrices and uh, the structure of these matrix you can see as this is w1 so in w1 elements are like this suppose it is a b c d e f g h i j this is 5 by 2 cross matrices and uh, the property on the elements or the elements of the row are sum of each row is 0 then c plus d equal to 0 and same as for other rows so from first equation you can write a equal to minus b or b equal to minus a so this matrix can be written as a minus a b minus b if this element is b then minus b if this is c minus c d minus d and e minus e and the size of this matrix is again 5 by 2 and here you can understand if we know the value of a then this entry is negative of that one and similarly for other that means that uh, we have only these a b c d and e independent choices to select so dimension of w1 is equal to 5 now come to the w2 w2 is same 5 by 2 matrices a b c d e f g h and i j so this is again 5 by 2 matrices and the property is that 
column sum is zero. To make column sum is zero, so a plus c plus e plus g plus i equal to zero. From this one, I can write i equal to negative of minus of a plus c plus e plus g plus i. So this element can I can write this element I can write negative of a plus c plus e plus g plus i or in other words you can say some negative of some of other four top elements similarly this uh, entry will be negative of b plus d plus f plus h so dimension of these this vector space w2 is equal to 8 because of you know the circular part entries will contribute in dimension and these are independent choices so dimension of w2 is 8 and we need to find dimension of intersection means dimension of w1 intersection w2 recall one point as the dimension of w1 is 5 and dimension of w2 is 8 so dimension of intersection dimension of intersection w1 intersection w2 must be less than equal to mean value of 5 comma 8 it means that dimension of intersection at most 5 so we will verify this using this problem and you can see in few minutes so suppose a matrix size of 5 cross 2 is belonging to w1 intersection w2 it means that this matrix is satisfying the property of w1 as well as property of w2 if this matrix is satisfying property of w1 that means that i can write element row wise a minus a b minus b c minus c d minus d e minus e and the last row i think this is 5 by 2 matrices 1 2 3 4 5 it's okay and this uh, entry must be negative of sum of other fours a plus b plus c plus d and uh, this entry is same as a plus b plus c plus d to make property of w2 so what we have we have only a b c and d are independent choices so we have only four independent choices so dimension of intersection is four because of these four entries only contributing in spanning so w1 intersection w2 is equal to 4 so you can see here dimension of intersection is 4 and 4 is less than equal to 5 so this property is also hold so answer of this problem is 4